Now, it was a classic children's drama that aired for 30 years, and Grange Hill is coming back, and this time it's going to be on the big screen. It's that imagery, but it's also the music, isn't it? Yeah, you're Which right. we'll hear in a second. Nearly half a century after it was first aired on BBC One, a film adaptation is being made at the groundbreaking series. Let's have a reminder of what it makes us so special. Where is it then? Where's what? Your money. What for? Sure, so don't get hurt, son. Right, you grind you lot. Where are you, brookies and all? Thank you. Flipping it, fat man. You're well away there, me old son. Useless! Let's see what Mrs. McCluskey has to say about this, shall we? Get lost. We're joined now by the creator of Grange Hill, Sir Phil Redmond, and Sarah Sugarman, who starred in the original series and who's going to direct the film. Good morning to you both. Morning. 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 Um, <laughs> Phil, it's coming to the big screen. How are you going to make sure that people like me, who grew up with Grange Hill, are going to get that bit of nostalgia, but also attract a new generation? Um, yeah, but before uh, we get into that, I just remind you, last time we spoke about this, you did offer to be in the programme. I so did, and I haven't had both of us offered, actually, Phil, Sir Phil, uh, and uh, no, no, neither we, of us had the call. I know, we're not, but we're just trying to make sure the script is absolutely right. You know, that's the thing. You know? <laughs> Bang on. Uh, uh, honestly, don't give us false hope. We'll get too excited. <laughs> I think the... Um, I mean, one reason why, you know, we're sort of at this stage now is because, I mean, I had the story about sort of trying to save the school and all the old pupils coming back and sort of getting involved in it for the nostalgia trip, really. Uh, but then actually Sarah, as, as Sarah uh, reached out to me uh, to remind me that she played Jessica Samuels in Seas 2 and would really like to be involved in the project. And that lit a light bulb up here about, well, actually, I think one of the interesting things would be is to find out what happened to... Sarah's character, Jessica Samuels, because she was the first one that actually got me into trouble, you know, because she led the student action group uh, and the, di the riot in the dining hall and everything. And I got my knuckles wrapped, with it, you know, for, uh, you know, the usual controversy things. And I thought, actually, what would be really interesting is find out what happened to Jessica when she was expelled from school. Where would she go? What kind of character she, you know, she would develop into? And so I came up with this idea that now she would be a campaigning social lawyer you know and she'd be you know helping people on the protest lines and things like that and so and when she hears about the school being under threat and her own kids are there it's going to be the loss of the community hub so she uh, gets involved goes to the barricades as it were and that'll be the thrust of the thing and all the other characters of course will come in around that you know because they are the grandparents and parents of kids at the school too so i'm hoping that's what we do we'd have a really strong um, movie that people recognise of all these frustrations that we're going through in life now about things being done to us, not for us. We're losing things, too many cuts, etc. But at the same time, we'll have a really piece of good fun, nostalgia, you know, uh, with the whole uh, wrap around of the old characters. Mm. Oh well, Sarah, do you want to pick up on that? I mean, we've got an idea and uh, of what it's going to be like. Do you will you indulge us a bit of nostalgia? There you are, you're a young actress, and you're in Grange Hill. Who'd have thought, you know, fast forward the clock, and here you are writing the movie? Well, Charlie, I'd love to be writing the movie, but that's down to Phil. You're, you're um, directing the movie. My, my apologies. Yeah, I've already, I've no, already no. messed it up. That's a schoolboy error, cool. if I may say so. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying is my inner voice, to be honest with you. It's like I'm so chuffed and I'm sitting here on this sunny morning thinking, how lucky am I, really, you know? Because um, I went to a comprehensive school in North Wales and I came to London as a kid and my dream was to act. And in those days, it really was like going to the moon or something. And uh, I remember when the BBC came, I, I went to a stage school and I, I got into the stage school. I remember when the BBC came, I'd only been there like about two weeks and I just wanted this part so badly. 
And I didn't really know what I was saying because Phil is so erudite and my character, Jessica Samuels, was uh, giving these huge uh, monologues about political, uh, her political beliefs. And as a kid, I didn't really know what I was saying, but I was so, I was so thrilled to get that part and these scripts land on the doormat and you go to Grange Hill with all these kids that you'd seen, you know, on telly and it was just fantastic but really now as an adult I do realize what was being said and what was being said then was really important still now um just a social conscience and and a, and a sense of fair play and um and I think that it's really yes it's entertainment it I'm so kind of overwhelmed by how it infiltrated so many um, generations voices yeah um, sorry thoughts you know like so many people I come across like oh I used to love Grange Hill and so the nostalgia is definitely there and there'll be loads of it and there'll also be you know I'm very aware as is Sir Phil that you know this is for a new generation as well and that the the human um relationships and power plays that were going on then are the same today you know so. Uh, so phil can i ask you a question i asked this slightly delicately okay and i hope you understand what i mean uh, is it you're having to write for young people how they would speak and one of the things that was so brilliant about grange hill is it was authentic you know people looked at it and went oh, well that's like me that's exactly how i speak and it's not necessarily easy is it to get that right, it, literally the dialogue, you know, the, the language people use, young people use now. Uh, are you kind of familiar? Is that Does that fall easily to you when you're writing? Where is it then? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there's two things in there. One, one is, um, I remember getting into trouble in an early interview on TV because somebody asked me that question. Where, you know, even when I was sort of like 29, you know, how did I, uh, how did I, I, how did I know how kids spoke, you know? And I remember just saying, like, to see these ears, they're called the ears, you know? Um, but that's but now what I'd say is that's the lived experience, and I've got some of my own kids, I've got my own grandkids. Uh, but the second point about that is the fact that it's not really the slang you should get um, hung up about. It's about what they're actually saying or what they're trying to articulate in the emotions. And the way we've always, the way I've always cast, you know, from through Grange Hill, through Brookside, through Hollyoaks, is that you know you write the script what you think this is what we want to say you know and then you uh, I put down what I think I it might work and then say to the actors make that work you know and then they'll wrap they'll wrap the the slang around it you know uh, and that always gives it its vibrancy and gives it its energy as well. You know? um, Sarah, casting begins soon. Um... No, go, are we going to have like a bit of a battle over this? Who's going to play Jessica Samuels, you or me? <laughs> well, it's not me you need to worry about so much. You need to find a part for Charlie as well, because Phil did promise both of us that we'd be in the film. So <laughs> casting, who, um, you know, who are you looking at? Who, what, what, kind of breadth of, <laughs> what kind of breadth of people are you, are you looking for? I think, you know, it's really important to obviously have the nostalgia everyone's going to be disappointed if we don't have you know our faces that that, that were Grange Hill and and to mix that with people that um that that were fans so don't rule yourself out oh that's <laughs> that's the second promise there you go <laughs> Phil you have no issues with that do you I certainly don't, but I mean, uh, as I've also said to Zara, you know, if she wants to play Jessica, she's going to have to audition along with everybody else. So you know, that's <laughs> the way the business works, isn't it? It's fair enough. That is absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Really am. Thank you both so much for talking to us this Saturday morning. Zara Sugarman, um, director, original cast member of Grange Hill, and Sir Phil Redman, of course, the creator and writer. Thank you both. Got to do my homework. Got to do my homework. Just get the lines right. Yeah, just get it right. Um, that music, it, is, it just takes you to a place, doesn't it? Uh, let's see what else is coming up this morning.